Mac T here, and this is the results of my 2008 Ford Edge 3.5 liter Duratec engine. Uh, got this uh, test through Blackstone Laboratories, and uh, as you see in the top comments area, uh, basically I change the oil about every 5,000 to 6,000 miles. I was in a little bit of a hurry to get it done this time, so I changed the oil at 5,100 miles. I was really curious to see how the results of the oil analysis uh, would affect me as far as do I keep the car or is it ready for race day? Well, as we're going to go through the results here, we're going to find out that this Duratec 3.5 is ready for race day. So, uh, the only exception that if you notice on here, uh, on the part right up here, is that uh, I had a nickel count of two parts per million, uh, which they state is very insignificant compared to everything else, and that this engine is, of course, going to run a long time. Now, as we're looking at it, I, of course, they also noted my number of miles, and uh, based on the wear and tear, uh, of course, any time you take an engine and run it down the highway like I do, you will get good results on your engine as long as you perform the maintenance. All engines are made to run. They're, the highway is the place where they're going to perform best. The temperatures are going to remain where they need to be. Uh, it's those short drives in town that are very hard on engines. So unlike anything else, uh, they also state that uh, the report says that I will definitely be able to get some more miles out of this engine. So going down, we're going to see that we have our... Oil was changed at 5,100 miles here on the top left. And then, of course, as we're moving down, uh, the noted mileage when the test was taken. So it's 268,399 uh, miles. Now, keep in mind, I am very close to being 270,000 at this moment. Uh, of course, a sample, no oil was added to my car. It does not use oil. So if we go down to the next one, aluminum, we're going to see that mine was rated at 1. The national universal averages on the right here are 4. I am below the aluminum count on my engine. Going down to the chromium, I am at 0, and the national average is 0. The iron count was 5. The national average is 11, so I'm doing really good there. Uh, the copper amount was 2. And believe it or not, the national average is 26. Uh, my lead was at 1, and the national average is 2. The tin was at 2, and the national average is 1. So my tin is just a little bit above that average. Uh, the molybdenum uh, was 35, and of course the average is 65. And the nickel is 2, and then of course the average is 0. Now, all these things put together, what this is, is this is the metals that make up the engine, the friction parts, the bearings, the pistons, all the internal parts of this engine rubbing against each other. And these are, of course, the alloys that they utilize during the construction of the engine, such as aluminum and chromium and everything else you put in there. Uh, nickel is added to aluminum. So, of course, you're going to have your nickel. Uh, manganese, of course, is part of that process in, in constructing and, and uh, smelting the metals and everything else. Uh, so you got manganese in there. I have zero. Uh, you're going to have silver, which is zero. Uh, titanium, which I'm at two. And of course, the uh, national universal average is four. Uh, potassium, very interesting choice there. But potassium is also part of the metals and also other things such as coolants, uh, I believe it is, but uh, definitely part of the metals. Uh, boron, of course, uh, I'm at zero, and the national average, of course, is 59, so uh, pretty low, not any significance there. Silicon, uh, basically a two, and the and national average is a 15. Uh, sodium, 42, national average, of course, is 60. And then, of course, the calcium was two-thirds. 
2322, and of course the national average 2134. Again, most of these numbers are very insignificant compared to the universal averages. Uh, magnesium was at 19, and look at that, the national average is 176, so I'm far below that. Phosphorus, of course, is 674, and right on the money almost on the universal average at 677. And of course, zinc, zinc is a uh, compound that is put into oils to help protect the metal parts and mine was of course uh, 670 or 767 and 777 is of course the universal average I am using high mileage order oil mobile one and uh, for high mileage vehicles and Apparently it doesn't have quite as much zinc as the national average. I might have to change and maybe even throw an additive in there, but you know what? It ain't broke, so why fix it? I'm going to keep doing what I'm doing with the high mileage oil, uh, and, and I'm mostly attacking seal issue. I'm not talking engine wear, but seals, and the, the additives in the high mileage oil will help swell the seals and slow down the leakage. Now, the viscosity, of course, of the oil, the barium, last but not least, was zero, and the national average is one. Now, the viscosity of the oil, of course, spot on the money there within parameters at 56.3, and the national value should be 56 to 63. Now, the viscosity, of course, at 100 degrees Celsius was 9.15, and again, right in the Right in the window there again, 9.1 to 11.3 is the average. My flash point was 410, and of course anything that they're looking for greater than 365 is, I guess, good. And then the fuel percentage was very low, so I have no leaking fuel in my oil. That's a good thing. We don't want to have any fuel in the oil. And look at this, antifreeze percentage was zero. That means I have an intact head gasket. I have no internal leaks of antifreeze found in my oil that means the engine is sound and I don't have to have worry about water and of course insolubles that were found in the oil were at below the average in which is what they want it to be less than a 0.6 all that being said uh, I got this here at blackstonelabs.com you can get the test kit for free and of course it takes about a week I would say for the results or less to come in I received mine via email uh, because I didn't want to wait for the snail mail to get me the report so they emailed me the report and of course this is the results of everything that I have as far as my engine and of course the top of the form does uh, hold my personal information so I'm not showing that but uh, this is the results of it so this Ford 3.5 liter Duratec engine in a 2008 Ford Edge with lots of highway miles is ready for race day it does not have a foot in the junkyard so for those of you who think is my 3.5 in good shape well I'm here to tell you Drive it and drive it good. Don't beat it up and you will get a lot of mileage out of your vehicle. So don't be scared to buy a used Ford Edge with 100,000 miles on it. As long as the oil changes and maintenance was performed on it, you will have a sound engine and you will also have a sound Ford Edge to get you many more miles down the road. So this is the results of the report. I, if you got comments, if you want to subscribe to my page because I am turning this thing into a YouTube Ford Edge channel as far as what I'm doing and I will be trying to put different information about my Ford Edge and its lifespan as far as how far can this thing go so hit like hit subscribe and add your comments below on my YouTube channel of course and by all means drive safe and we'll see y'all later